Hey, welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're diving into something pretty amazing happening in Brazil. It's a payment system built by the government that is so simple and so incredibly fast, it honestly makes you wonder what the rest of us are doing. It's called PIX. And trust me, it's a total game changer. You know the feeling, right? It's Friday night, you pay a friend back for dinner, and they get the money on Tuesday. Because, you know, banks and weekends. It just feels so clunky and slow. In a world where everything else is instant, why is moving our own money still stuck in the past? Well, in Brazil, they got tired of waiting. But instead of some tech startup trying to fix it, the country's own central bank stepped in. And what they came up with is, well, it's just brilliant. And that brings us to PIX. This is the system that's at the heart of this whole revolution. It was built by Brazil's central bank with a few key ideas in mind. Make it practical, make it fast, and make it super secure and it has completely changed how people pay for things in Brazil. So what is PIX, exactly? It's a payment platform run by the state where transfers are truly instant. I mean, we're talking seconds, and it works 24 seven. Three in the morning on a holiday, doesn't matter. The money moves right then and there. No waiting, no business hours. So how did they make it so simple to use? Well, the secret sauce, the real magic, is something they call a Chave PIX. That's Portuguese for a PIX key. This one little thing is what makes the whole system just click. And just look at the difference. The old way, my gosh. You needed the person's full name, their bank, the branch number, account number, their national ID, get one digit wrong, and poof, the whole thing fails. Now, with PIX, all you need is that one single PIX key. That's it. So, a PIX key is basically just a nickname you give to your bank account. It's an alias that you set up one time and it just points directly to your account. No more sharing all those long, complicated, and frankly sensitive bank details every time someone needs to pay you. And this is where it gets really clever. Your key can be something you already have memorized, like your phone number or your email address. It could be your national ID number. Or, and this is great for privacy, you can just have the system generate a totally random key for you. It puts all the choice and control right in your hands. All right, so we get it, it's easier. But is it really that much better? Let's actually stack it up against the old ways of doing things. I mean, the comparison isn't even close. Traditional transfers can take hours, even days. Picks, it's instant. Old systems, they clock out for the weekend. Picks, it's always on. But here's the real kicker. For regular people, Picks is completely free to use no fees. This isn't just a little improvement. It's a whole new ball game. And its uses are, well, they're pretty much limitless. It's not just for paying your friends back. You can use it to buy your coffee, pay for stuff online, settle up with your plumber, handle business invoices, pay your electric bill. You can even pay your taxes with it. It's built to be the one tool for everything. And get this, the smallest amount you can send is one cent of a Brazilian real. That's practically nothing. And that's not just a cute little detail. It's a huge deal for financial inclusion. It means literally everyone can use the system for any payment, no matter how tiny. Okay, but whenever you talk about money moving that fast, the big question always comes up. Is it safe? And yeah, Brazil's central bank knew this would be the number one concern, so they built security into the very foundation of PIX. They've got these layers of security, right? First, there's user authentication. You know, you have to prove it's you with a password or a fingerprint. Second, every single transaction is traceable from start to finish. Third, the whole thing runs on a heavily encrypted network, totally separate from the regular internet. And finally, there are super strict rules and fraud protection built right in. And listen to this quote from the central bank itself. All PIX operations are fully traceable. That's the key. Unlike cash, which can be totally anonymous, PIX leaves a digital trail. This gives police a real, concrete tool to fight crime in a way that just wasn't possible with cash. So you start to see that PIX is way more than just a slick app for sending money. It's a strategic piece of national infrastructure. So let's zoom out and look at the huge goals Brazil was aiming for with this thing. And the goals were massive. They designed PIX to really shake up the economy. They wanted to boost competition among banks, drive down the costs of financial services for everyone, bring more people into the formal financial system, make the whole market more efficient, and of course, improve security across the board. Which brings us to this final question. 
When you add it all up, the incredible speed, the zero cost for users, the rock solid security, and these huge national goals that it's actually achieving, you just have to ask, did Brazil accidentally build the best payment system in the world? It's definitely something to think about. Thanks for tuning in to this explainer.